previously shared a video featuring elementary level players demonstrating how to properly use a sweep stick. We do use the same initial progression with players at all levels, so we wanted to share some footage with higher level players as well. It's imperative to teach players at all levels how to use a sweep stick before engaging in advanced drills. In the first part of our progression, we're going to have these guys just sweep through the sweep stick. We talk about breaking it in half. We want the ball to go about halfway through the sweep stick. It gets you about six inches above the floor, which is a fantastic spot to be in. When I yell sweep, these guys are going to have the ball in their left hip. They're going to sweep the ball through over to their right hip, and they're going to hold it. Ready? Sweep! 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 The next step is we're going to be in triple threat. I'm going to yell sweep. They're going to sweep it through, and then I'm going to give them a second command, pound, and they'll pound the ball. We're going to use an open step or a strong side step, so they're going to step with their right foot. The ball and their foot should hit at the same time, so it's a two-command situation right now. Ready? Sweep! Pound! Sweep! Pound! Sweep! Pound! The next step, we're going to do the same thing, but now it's going to be one command. Okay, so we're going to be triple threat. Ball's on the left hip. We're going to sweep it through to the right and step at the same time, so we're gaining momentum. One command. Ready. Sweep! 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 All right, the next step in this progression is using a closed step or a crossover step. We're going to still have the ball in our left hip. I'm going to have a two command situation for them. It's going to be sweep and then pound, but this time they're going to use a closed step or a crossover step. All right, here we go. Ready? Sweep! Pound! Sweep! Pound! Sweep! Pound! The next step of the progression is one command. We're going to use a, a crossover step or a closed step. It's going to be one command. So ready? Sweep! 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 The next step in the progression is getting these guys to be able to sweep and attack all in one movement and actually advance forward on the court. One teaching point when they do this is we still want to sweep and attack, but it's nice to have this on near a lane line so they can try and get back to their line. A lot of players, especially if they use an open step, they're going to have this foot pointing off to the side and that's going to take and make their path be that way. We want them to sweep and attack and get back to the lane line. In this step, we're going to have David using an open step and Zach's going to use a closed step. You'll be able to see both at the same time. They're going to take three dribbles and come to a jump stop. It's a one command situation. Ready? Sweep! The next step in the progression is getting these guys to sweep the basketball and attack the rim. What we really want to challenge them to do is to stay low, get their chest to the floor, and get to the basket in one dribble. Some of your players might have to take two or three. But these guys are budding high school players. They're almost in high school, and we're going to challenge them to take one dribble to get to the rim. So what we've got set up on the back side of this drill is a way to encourage skill development while you're working on attacking the basket on the other side. We've got a sweep stick along the baseline, and then we've got four tight cones, about three feet apart. What's going to happen is they're going to finish at the basket, they're going to jog over, get ready, sweep through, attack the cones, and we're going to let these guys do what we call freestyle. They can use whatever move they would like at each cone, but you could tell them to go between the legs, behind the back, inside out, whatever you would want. The big thing to make sure that you communicate to your players is that when they get to the sweep stick, they get their feet set. A lot of players are going to want to run up, get down and, and try and sweep it before their feet are ready, and it, all it's going to do is build habits of traveling. So they have to get there, get their feet set, and then work on exploding out using the sweep stick. 